it's Black History Month still. Clearly. Click. I went to work like this. My shirt's like Black Lives Matter all day. Um, Y'all know I'm in the car, per usual. Um, <laughs> clearly, this is going to become a car YouTube channel. It's happening. So, won't be looking at you guys. Definitely looking at the road so I can get to where I'm trying to get to, which is too boring per usual. Um, I'm actually really tired. Like, really, really tired, but I just got a sudden burst of energy. So, I was like, while I got this burst of energy, let me record because I was tired, boss. Um, and I had a topic I wanted to talk about. So, I was having a discussion, me and Rodney was talking, right? And <laughs> it'd be funny because we'd be like talking about something, I'd be like, oh, YouTube topic. But we were talking about this whole being a product of your environment. I don't agree with it. I don't agree that we are products of our environment. I feel like our environment affects us and we may be products of our, products of our environment temporarily, but I don't feel like we should use that as an excuse because a lot of people who do bad things in life or who are in bad situations, make bad decisions, they're like, oh, I'm a product of my environment. I'm a product of my environment. Okay, but you don't have to stay a product of your environment, though. Even even if you leave, like, literally, yo, like, let's take me, for example, right? My past was crap, shitty, horrible, terrible, troubled, just all fucked up. Excuse my language, but not excuse my language. Okay, no daddy in the picture. Grandpa's died, godfather died. Sexual abuse at a young age, 11, rape, 16 raped in 2020 like it, it's we already know what I've been through so I can easily say well I'm not gonna be shit I'm not gonna do shit I can't do shit I can't accomplish shit because of my environment and the past that I had I grew up in an environment where I was living in the house with my abuser therefore I make bad decisions as a 30 year old adult no okay that when I was a when I was a teenager Everything that I did was because I was a product of my environment and I was still in that environment. Once I got out of that environment, even in college, I made bad decisions because of the environment I came from. So I'm not saying that it's something that happens overnight. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. You're not going to change overnight. But what you're not going to do and what we're not going to do is this traffic that's in front of me because I don't like it. I don't like it. Somebody got pulled over or something. I don't like that. But what we're not gonna what we're not gonna do for real is pretend or use it as an excuse. Like, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Especially if you've changed your environment. When you move from a toxic environment, don't take that toxicity with you to a new environment. Create a new form of peace. Create a new mentality. Okay, you're not that person anymore. Like, you're not that person anymore. Even like I knew that I was, I guess it's because I have to sometimes, I want to stop doing this, but at the same time I don't because it's, it makes me who I am. I look at myself and I'm like, okay, I could have easily crushed, crumbled, just tore apart, ripped down to shreds when I was sexually assaulted in 2020. Yet and still, I kept going. I was hurt temporarily. It was a tragic situation. It was horrible, but I didn't quit though. I kept going with what I was doing. I kept doing what I was doing because I was that motivated. I am. I have that strong of a purpose. So I don't like when people use their past as an excuse not to get better. Don't do that. Like, we got to quit with this whole product of our environment shit. Like, no, I don't I don't care what your environment was or is. You can be something different. You don't have to let that environment consume you. It's just a matter of you being strong enough to over consume the toxic environment that you're in with positivity. Like, you got to take that toxicity and turn it into positivity. So, for now, we're speaking on toxic environments from the past 
when we say I'm a product of, of, my, of my environment as a 30, 40, 50 year old person, but this was, your environment was bad when you was growing up. No, uh-uh, nah, uh we not doing that. We not doing that, you not in that no more. You not that person no more, you not in that no more. So stop using that as a, as a crutch. Change your mentality. Everything starts within the mind. If you change your mentality, you can change everything else around you. But as long as your mentality is not right, as long as your mind is not in a positive and peaceful place, everything around you will be disturbed. Why would you go on that side? Baby, it don't matter what toll you go through. Either way, they're going to send you a bill because they closed. These people here are going to drive me crazy. Um... But hold on, y'all. Pay attention. Ooh, what is that smell? Mmm, what is that smell? Ew, gross, sir. I need to get over. So can you? It smell like boo boo. It smell like boo boo, and I don't like it. Ew, gross. That shit stink, literally. <laughs> oh my god yeah. I hate that when I be driving and it just starts smelling like shit um, but I know where I am and it always smells like that over here on, on these dirty streets of Alameda but again environment because I am definitely going through my old hood right now and I do not act like the person I was when I was living in Herb Clark Houston, Texas always repping okay <clears throat> but we got to stop using that as an excuse, guys. Like, we literally got to do better. Because just because you grew up a certain way, just because your environment was bad, does not mean you have to be grown making bad decisions and bad choices. That's, that's why I help teenagers, right? Because the trouble movement, these kids are, in, most of the time, are in bad environments. They're in um, environments where there is no father in the home or like for the boys there's a broken home well for the boys and the girls shit it's a broken home they get in these streets and just start messing with the wrong people like they're in bad environments therefore they it causes them to make bad decisions and they become products of their environment because they don't know no better at that age like i didn't know any better at that age either but it's up to people like me who are older and who have more wisdom to tell them you don't have to be a product of your environment. That was the whole reason why I got into the trouble movement and started what I started in the first place. Because I did not want this mentality to keep going for generations and generations and generations. No, we got to break that. We breaking generational curses. We breaking cycles. Because if you keep that mentality, it's going to pass down from you to your kids to your grandkids to your great grandkids. It's going to keep going. So at some point, somewhere, you have to break the cycle. The cycle has to be broken. It can't keep going. The curse has to be broken. So we got to stop using it as, as an excuse. It's not an excuse. You are not a product of your environment. You are a product of whatever it is that you set your mind to. You are a product of whatever you form in your mind, whatever purpose God gives you. That is, your, that is what you are a product of. You are a product of his creation. And which, with each creation, he gave a purpose. When he created you, when he created me, lady, this is a merge. So either you are going to get behind me or you are going to hit me. Which one do you fucking want? That's what I thought. Sorry, assholes. But <clears throat> you are, <laughs> from God to cousin, this, this will be happening. Uh, Y'all see the description. Y'all know we do this every time. But with each one of his creations, he gave each one a purpose. He was like, okay, I'm creating Miranda Monet Evans, and she, her purpose is going to be this. I am creating whatever. You who are watching this, just put your name, fill in the blank, because I don't know you personally or your name. Um, I created such and such for this purpose and this purpose, this person here, this person here. Before you were even formed in the womb, he knew when he was creating you what your purpose was going to be. 
And I always say, life is already written. We just flipping the pages. Like the, the book of our life is already written. We're literally just flipping the pages. We're going through the chapters of a book that God has already written for us. So he know what we're going to do even before we know. He already ordained. He already said it. He already wrote it. He just waiting for us to get there. We just flipping the, flipping the pages. As the days go by, we just flipping the pages. At each, with each year is a new chapter. That's, that's how I look at it. I literally look at life like a book. It's an already written book. And I'm just flipping through the pages day by day. And whatever God got written in that book, that's what it's going to be. Even with free will, he knows the decision you're going to make before you make it. And that's why he lets us make those decisions. I don't went into a whole... Wait a minute. <laughs> Girl, I don't went into a whole nother gospel. Y'all better be at this event on February 27th. That's what you better do. That's what you better do. What? Girl, I'm out here for the get it game. Quit playing with me. If you ain't in Houston, then it's a virtual option. The link is in the description. Okay, go on get them cap them tickets. Go on cap them tickets. Okay. Um, February 27th, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So wherever you are, then convert it. Cause it's 4 p.m. Central Standard, and I'm not gonna do it for you. But I am definitely looking forward to that. If you are in Houston, I expect to see you there in person. Okay, I expect you. To, I want to see your face. Okay, I want to. I want to see your face from six feet apart with a mask on. But I want to see your face. I want to feel your energy. I don't even need to see your face. I just want to feel your energy. I just want to spread positive energy and love onto you. Okay, because that's another thing that we don't realize. Energy is everywhere. You can walk in a room and change the whole energy in the room if your energy is powerful enough, whether it's good or bad. Keep that in mind. People have strong energy. My energy is strong. And it's funny because, again, going back to me and Ronnie living in the same house, we both have strong energy. So when he would, like, you know, and we've got on YouTube and discussed his attitude before. This ain't nothing new. And if you ain't seen that video, then it's it's, it's in, the, in there. It's in there. Go, go back. Go back. Well, we talked about us, like, when we first moved in together and how we met, blah, blah, blah. But when he's upset he has a very strong energy like he doesn't he doesn't yell or get angry he's a very calm person but his energy is really strong so if he comes in the house and he's not happy or he's upset or he may be going through depression or something like that then it'll change the energy of the house and i can feel that and i'd be like mm -mm. <laughs> nope 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 but because my energy is strong my positive energy combats his. So when I walk into the house, the energy changes. Like, that's a whole video in itself. But energy is a very powerful thing. That's why you always got to make sure you have positive energy. That's why I'm so big on that. Because it literally affects everything around you from the environment you in, the people around you, all kinds of shit. So... But going back to what I had originally got on here for, because I just, girl, just started going. The Lord was just leading me. Um, we have got to stop with this whole negative mentality. I'm a product of my environment, blah, blah, blah. This is why I make these. No, fuck that. Bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. You're lying. <laughs> like, you lying. You know, you know, that's not what's happening. You are lying. You just, you don't want to, you're making an excuse not to do better in life. That's what that is. You're not a product of your environment. You can be better. You just don't want to be. You're not putting forth the effort to actually not be a product of your environment. That's just like, I don't have to be like my mama. My mama and my daddy both made me. I don't have to be like them. I Just because I'm a product of them physically does not mean I have to be a product of them in life. I don't have to be just like them. Him. He was like, I know I know a therapy discussion when I hear it. 
it's a habit. I literally, it's a habit, y'all. I don't even be trying to sound like that. But I do that. Like, I do it with my best friends, too. I do it with people on purpose when they ask for my advice but I also do it on accident and I'll ask questions like therapy questions well you know well, why do you think why do you think that's happening and what makes you feel that way what can you do to change it like I ask questions like that where it's like I'm gonna make you think I'm gonna make you think I'm gonna make you actually go through and analyze the situation analyze your past analyze what's in your mind and a lot of people don't like that but I'm a Virgo for one so we're very analytical people especially when it comes to mental but it just happens like that so dang i got here fast oh man bummer i got my point across though i said what i had to say is this I, if i see one more tesla god dog man them things is everywhere jesus let me go down here and turn around but i had to hit y'all with that little gem that turned into something completely different um, than it was supposed to. Yeah, I'm about to turn around in your driveway, pimp. Get over it. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. It happened. Um. So that was my short little car motivation. Um, and I hope that did something for y'all. Again, I will see y'all on February 27th can't wait i love you all so very very much you are everything to me and make sure you like comment and subscribe and um <laughs> power to the people bye